Oh, <laughs> big question. Um, I think that, uh, of course, it's a big change for me in, in general uh, when going from, you know, the whole identity as a badminton player every single day and then starting to get uh, other things into my life. Um, I'm actually uh, very happy about the past year. You know, it's been a year since playing the last last match, and uh, of course, I had to get adjusted for some months uh, after that, after my last match against uh, Lin Dan. But then things got kind of into a rhythm. I, I found out that I had to practice quite a lot still. Um, it was not enough for me to do other stuff uh, like uh, tennis or football. Or, you know, I had to play men's singles training, uh, so I do at least four or five times a week. Um, and then I'm coaching in a very ambitious uh, youth project. And beside of that, I'm doing a lot. Uh, I put a lot of work into getting, uh, being a, a kind of an ambassador for Danish companies coming into China and rest of Asia. So I've been very busy. Uh, and also, you know, the reason why I'm in Canada now is that I have time to travel a bit with my kids and also do some other stuff while I'm here. Inside the Copenhagen area, I'm coaching uh, about 16 of the, some of the best players in Denmark, uh, four times a week. In Denmark, our system is, is not as in China or Malaysia, so it's very difficult for us to combine with the school in a young age. Um, but that's what we're trying to do in this aspect. Um, and, you know, I have the kids four times a week, that's a lot, so uh, I'm really pushing them. Um, and my kind of job in this my assignment in this project is to find out who is made for this and who is not made for it. And uh, So it's kind of tough for them, kind of rough for them, but uh, I enjoy it and I've been really happy to still keep in touch with badminton this way. Um, I considered going into national squad as a national coach or national men's singles coach, but on the senior level. But actually I'm really happy that uh, I'm doing this and this also gives me uh, the, the spare time, the free time to do you know, something else like the ambassador thing or, yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, being a dad, uh, it's, it's always a very, <laughs> you learn a lot from that every single day. Um, I'm just happy that badminton is no longer scheduling, you know, my time with my kids. You know, this is a winter holiday. I haven't never been on winter holiday until one year back when I went to Canada uh, one year, one year ago. Um, so this was my first time uh, skiing, and uh, this is my second time now. So I'm really enjoying that I can do this with with my kids. I like the change. Um, uh, as long as I can still practice quite a bit, yeah. I feel okay. Uh, if I don't practice, bam, you know, men singles, uh, I, I don't feel. I feel like something in, is missing in my life. Yeah, I guess I, I kind of got used to it, and uh, my body and mind and everything in, in me uh, is used to doing that. So maybe I can do less and less, mm -hmm. but so far I like it. I don't miss the tournaments. Um, I don't miss being in the spotlight. I don't miss being, uh, you know, traveling that much. Um, I, I like this, you know. Uh, I love the game, and as long as I can still play it and coaching, yeah. it's okay. I could not know that. I haven't trained, mm -hmm. I haven't practiced there, so I don't know. And uh, um, For sure it would have changed something if it was for the good or for the bad or, the, or for the worse. I, I don't know. Uh, it's, it's, it's very difficult because the big nations, you know, you will never see us <laughs> practicing together, you know, because we're competing against each other in a good way. So that's, that's just the way, this, it's just the way it is. And uh, I think that's fair enough. And uh, I think we learn from each other when looking at each other on court immediately when we see one, one another doing different things, uh, another approach to footwork or technique. We try and learn from it and that is the best you can do. Um, and I, that's a, maybe one of the parts of the game that I love the most. Um, difficult question because technology is only about rackets and shoes.
I think the video an anal an analysis has been is far more advanced now than it was 10 or 15 years ago, and it's being used a lot by coaches and uh, um, physical. Uh, physically, I think the most important thing is that more and more weight training uh, is is coming in, but also more and more, you know, like whole body core practice. You you have to. There's so many, you know, the harder you practice on court. The more you have to do of the weight training and physical training, core training, all these rehab training, um, and in order to be able to practice this, hard. men's singles is one of the toughest sports uh, for your body, uh, so you you have to be really uh, thorough about what, how you're doing. It. Otherwise, you cannot keep for for many years. I think it's weakened, but I still think that, uh, you know, I think we're playing the semi-finals today at the men and women's team uh, championships as we speak. So I still think that they have uh, a big chance of winning, uh, but maybe not as easy as before. So that may be a, a, a difference. Uh, you, it's always a challenge when you have big names quitting and you need new, new names to come up and uh, take over. But it, I think, you know, it, it is possible, but in Denmark we don't have that many options uh, for doing that. And we need to be better at not only having one player every five years, uh, we need to have, you know, two or three or four players every year. Uh, I think, uh, but we don't have the resources, we don't have the financial resources for doing that. But actually we could do that and then we could compete even better with the Chinese and, and so on. So far I still think we are we're the best nation in Europe, but... Germany, yes, may come closer in some areas, but it's okay. Uh, I don't mind that. I, I want to see the players handle on the, you know, being able to play on the world circuit. Right. That's the most important. Right. Absolutely zero. Yeah, uh, I'm not a political guy. Um, I don't. I have no interest in these uh, political things. <laughs> no, <laughs> okay. I, I'm, I'm joking a bit, but uh, I'm, 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 I'm really not that much. Uh, I think it's really good for badminton that Paul Eric has come into the spot that he has, um, and Thomas Lund also uh, at an important spot. So we have Europeans and uh, sitting in, in significant, significant roles at the BWF. But so far, I need to see that BWF is doing good things for the game. Uh, for the past 20 years, it, things are moving too slow, and I know that people are trying to do good things, but still, it's for me, it's too slow. And we need to think about our game. We need to take advantage, also of the, you know, me, Taufik, Li Chongwei, Lin Dan. We, you know, kind of the four kings. Uh, how much have the game taken advantage of that? Not, not nearly as much as they could have. Um, there's different aspects of the scoring system and the way they handle players at tournaments. I know that people at BWF and other places are doing what they can, but we still need to set the bar much, much higher for our sport. So much more to offer. Yeah, I have my doubts that it, it's not continuously. It's only uh, for one year, and then you do something else. So it's, it, uh, I love our sport, but uh, we need to see that uh, in order to keep up with other sports, we need to take take care of our stars, and we need to promote the game the best way possible. <laughs> not at the moment, no. Um, it would be. Uh, <laughs> Intriguing, because I love the the country really much, and now, already by now I have a lot of friends over here. So, mm -hmm. uh, but at the moment it, I have two kids, so it's not possible for me to to to. Yeah, so so we'll see what what's what's happening in the future. Um,